Hey, what's up you guys? We are on the floor of my new apartment today because I have been in this apartment for about a week. Just got a, just got a couch um, as I totally miss the arm. I have been in this apartment for almost a week now. I start my job tomorrow morning, which is Monday morning, which is when this video is going up. But because I start my brand new job tomorrow, I wanted to do a plan my week with me slash like goal setting for the week, kind of just trying to pull myself together and act like I have things under control before I have to start my job in the morning. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have seen several other people on AuthorTube and YouTube in general doing videos like this and I've really enjoyed them and they're just kind of fun to see what people have planned for the week and what people want to accomplish and so we are going to sit down and write out what I want to accomplish on my little whiteboard thing and then I'm gonna hang this up at a spot in my living room-ish. It's actually more in my kitchen where I can like see this every day. And yeah, so let's get to planning my week. All right, so today is Sunday, June 7th, and this week is the 7th through the 13th. All right, now that I have all of my dates listed out, um, because today is the 7th, this isn't going to benefit you guys in any way, but I am doing a live stream with author Angela Ann today. I'm gonna use it as like a productivity stream just because I have a lot of things to do. And so because I have all of my lovely colors here, I did buy these when I was at the store last because I wanted this to be cute and colorful and I wanted to keep doing this as the weeks go by. And so I think we're gonna choose maybe a dark blue for all things YouTube. So today at 3.30 my time, so 3.30 Central Standard Time, I have a live stream sweet and while i am doing the youtube stuff i think i'm gonna go ahead and list that all the way across but because on mondays and thursdays is when i normally post and i normally post in the mornings and so my edited videos are ready to go at least by the night before i'm gonna write it down at the bottom what videos i have going up although i'm not entirely sure which one is going up on thursday yet but this video that i'm currently making is going up tomorrow which is monday morning all right so we have youtube video on monday and a youtube video on thursday i do have a lot of possibilities for thursday but at this current point in time i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm going to choose and make for thursday but now that that is over with and we have used the dark blue color i think what's next is going to be my work schedule and i don't want that to be in an ugly color but i also don't want it to be like the brightest color of them all so i think i'm going to use red and hopefully that's not too too crazy and I still have paperwork that I need to fill out today before I start this week. And so I'm gonna put it on Sunday, which is today that I have to finish the paperwork and send that back over to my boss. All right, and then my job is a marketing job. And so it is very standard eight to five, but on Fridays, I actually don't end at five. I have a half day, which is really nice. And so it is to 1 p.m. instead of 5 p.m. And then for Saturday, I don't have a ton of things planned right now. I think a couple of my friends are gonna come back into town, but until then, we are dealing mostly with my work week. For my appointments, I am gonna use this bright green because this is what I use on my calendar app on my computer, and I just have an appointment on Tuesday at 6.30, so I'm just gonna add that quick. All right, so those are basically all of the things that I have to do. And so now it's time for me to try and schedule some writing in here. I do need to start draft three, which is interesting and have not necessarily done that yet, but I think what that's going to entail is reading the second draft and kind of where I left off with that and then making sure that the ending is good, the ending that I wrote sort of after the second draft was done, and then essentially just trying to put an effort to reorganizing my chapters and making sure that everything is in its place and in a good place and that everything is like good to go. And so basically then I will hopefully start to like interweave all of the three perspectives, whereas they have been completely isolated up until now. But I think that that's gonna be a really cool and exciting step. And so I think the color that we should choose for that is maybe a light blue. I mean, orange might just be really harsh on the eyes. Let's check that. Oh, that's actually a really good color. So I think we're gonna use orange. Well, if it erases. 
I am using like cardboard, <laughs> which is not good. It's the packaging from the marker set. This is kind of a hard goal to set because I have not yet had a full-time job. And so it's hard for me to know how tired I'm gonna be after work. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put down like an easy goal of, oh my goodness, I just saw that I did these wrong. It jumps from 11 to 13 and 14. That's incorrect. That's fun. This is the 12th and the 13th. But anyways, that's been fixed now. But basically what I was saying with my orange and my writing goals for this week, I am not entirely sure of what to put down just because this is a new scenario for me. And so I think I'm gonna make it pretty easy um, because I do have long lunch breaks. And so I might be able to work on writing during my lunch breaks. But I think what I'm gonna say is read a chapter a day. And then if I do more than that, I'm super happy with it. But then that's just like intentionality of me working on it at some point throughout my day. I'm going to say DE for my project DE, DE one chapter. And I suppose I should also enter that in for today, probably during the live stream. I'm gonna try and do DE one chapter just because I know that I will be on that live stream today and it is a write-in. <laughs> I was gonna use that as a productivity stream, but I think that is good to list on here. I like how this kind of looks like it curves. To me, it looks like it's in a straight line, so that might just be where my camera is situated, but I'm not gonna put any editing or creative work for Saturday, just probably because I will be exhausted after the week. And again, like I said, I have not seen my friends in like three months. And so if I get to do that this weekend, I would love to do that. So I'm just gonna leave that open. In my building my writing schedule video, I did say that I don't take weekends when I'm working on a book. I said that, and then of course, I have not worked on this thing in like three weeks, probably maybe like two or three weeks. So apparently I don't take weekends very often, but then when I do take a break, I take a break for a very long time. So maybe I'm gonna start reinstating weekends. I'm not totally sure, but for right now, we're just gonna leave that blank. This does look pretty easy. In here, obviously, I will probably have to be running errands about like getting stuff for my new apartment because I'm still working on filling it up. I'm sure that there are gonna be more things that need to go on here or if not on here that I will need to do this week because this is like a very minimalistic view of it, but I kind of don't mind that because it makes me feel like I have the freedom to then run errands whenever I need to run errands to finish filling in my apartment and to like get food and all that fun stuff. And so I think that's gonna be it for filling that out. Now I am gonna go hang it up on my kitchen wall AC unit thing because it's currently really ugly and I think adding this would be really cute. So that's what I'm gonna do next. This is my lovely AC unit that is not very cute. But this is what I'm gonna hang up my calendar, like weekly overview thing on my whiteboard so that it's in an easy spot for me to like see every morning so that I can kind of have like a rough overview of what needs to happen that day. I do keep greater detail on my computer calendar, but this is gonna be so much easier just to like glance at so that I don't have to like open up my computer, pull up the calendar, check, make sure everything's good. I will likely still do that, but at least this is a like quick overview and I'm sure I will be adding things to it as time goes and as my week progresses and I have things that I have to do at certain times throughout the week. I'm using a, like a 3M sticky thing for this. And so that's why I'm just like chilling here, pressing it up on the wall. All right, wow, I really hope that's like even, but it's up, it's good. I also do have this like magnetic cup holder -y thing that I can put like my markers into. Although I'm not sure if I wanna put it like here or if I wanna put it in my office, which is where I'm gonna be putting up like a month calendar whiteboard thingy that I'm going to intend more for my creative purposes because now that I finally have space and an apartment to myself, I mean like I can just like spread out more and so I can finally do art again. I can put up there a more like solidified video schedule, maybe even a live stream schedule sort of after I figure out how I'm doing with work and all of that exhaustion and fatigue and of course like my writing schedule and hopefully I will be more settled in by the time July hits to try and figure out what I'm gonna do for July Camp Nanoramo because 
I mean, April went pretty well. I feel like April did go really well for that. And so I'm excited about that and I need to kind of settle in and stuff and probably start on the third draft of my Project DE before I get into July's Camp NaNoWriMo. And one of my issues is that I was actually expecting to be further along in draft three, but I haven't even started it yet, but draft three, I was hoping to be done by like mid June so that I could focus in July on drafting a new story, which who knows, might still happen, but also I'm starting a job, I'm in a brand new apartment, like I'm trying to be nice to myself and forgiving and just like make sure that life is still going semi-smoothly before I overcommit myself. Because if I were to plan on starting to draft something in July, I would want to like try, probably not hit the 50,000 words, but get like a solid like 30 or 40, which would be a crazy good writing month for me. And so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that yet, but that's okay, I need to figure it out. But this is helpful at least with planning my week. I still don't know if I'm gonna put this up or not with my markers in it, or if I'm gonna put this in the office next to my more creative calendar that's like the month long calendar. That might be more the move. I don't know, I'll see, I'll figure it out, but I'm not gonna include it in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah Lebrat. I post videos twice a week and occasionally do live streams and live write-ins if you ever want to join me for a productivity sprint. If you enjoyed this video, this is a little bit outside of what I normally do, but if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and I will know to do it in the future or not, essentially. Once I kind of get a little bit more settled into my new schedule, I will probably do a video about planning my month of July with my brand new whiteboard. Can you tell I'm really excited about that whiteboard? But if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button because it really supports my channel. And now I want to hear from you guys. Leave a comment down below telling me what plans you have for the week, what things you were trying to accomplish, what you have accomplished recently in your writing. Go ahead and brag about it down in the comments because we are all here to support you in your writing journey. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye!